What's up guys? Welcome back to Sisters Talk TV. I'm going to be talking all about Chris and Paige and what were the producers thinking when they paired these two up together. Like I really just don't understand. I have some things I need to reveal. Something was left on my like in the comment section about Chris that I did not know. So stay tuned to the end of this review and we are going to talk all about it. Okay, so the episode pretty much started where it kind of left off at. So the this is like the couple's first night together and just kind of they all wanted to get to know each other, asking questions about each other, um, you know, per usual. My opinion has definitely changed as far as, you know, the other, like, the couples who I think are going to stay together. Yeah, I think my opinion kind of has changed, but we'll get to that. Okay, so before we get started, you guys already know what to do. Please be sure to like, yes, like this video, subscribe to our channel. And also check us out on Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. Leave a comment. Let us know how we are doing on our reviews. Let us know what you think. So, yeah, we love that. We love to engage with you guys. And also, you know, it just helps us out on, you know, with our algorithm here on YouTube. So just let us know what you think think about our reviews so we are going to go ahead and get okay let's first start off with Ryan and Claire okay so my opinion about these two I'm kind of swaying as far as these two because I kind of see like I kind of I kind of see them working together like working out and staying married and then I don't because one Claire definitely, you can definitely see that she takes the role and boss kind of mentality when it comes to the marriage. And Ryan likes to take a seat back. Ryan does, okay, so Ryan comes from a very religious family. And Claire said that she kind of has walked out of like um, any religious organization because it's like she's being when she was younger she was forced into it so let's go ahead and move on to Jacob and Haley so Jacob and Haley my opinion it still kind of stays the same I personally don't think that they are going to stay together because they're just total opposites and you can definitely see that like I just I really just don't understand where the matchmakers were going when they when it came to these two they're like complete opposites. Like, how do you match? I don't know. Like, it's weird. They're cute. Like, as, like if you see them as a couple, you would think, okay, oh, they're compatible. Because, you know, they look good together. But their personalities are totally different. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to Eric and Virginia. I got, guys, like, my opinion actually has changed from last episode because I thought, okay, Virginia, she just left to have a good time. Just, like, this is just going to be a train wreck. But I like them together. I honestly do. Virginia seems like such a sweet person. Eric, he just, I, initially I thought he was super uptight because he was a pilot. And I'm like, you know, he has, like, a type A personality, because that's, you know, usually what pilots, they're very, like, they're on routine, but Eric likes to have a good time, and he's, like, on roll with Virginia, he can hang with her, so we're gonna, go, we're gonna see, I still think Vincent and Brianna, Brianna are so cute together, I think they're going to last for sure, Chris and Paige are, it's just a hot mess, and guys, we're gonna talk about that, on this episode so that is my opinion so far what I think about the couples if they're going to stay together if they're not that's my opinion so far but let's go ahead and talk about Chris and Paige Chris and Paige okay so Chris revealed to us that him and Paige kind of got intimate 
um, you know, their husband, um, their husbands and wives, they're married. So he revealed to us that him and Paige kind of got intimate during their first night. And he also reveals that he is not attracted to Paige whatsoever. And he's really confused. He's just like, he's just, just does not see it. And he tells Paige, like, he's just not attracted to her. He thought that maybe, you know, them, like, you know, um, kind of getting into maybe like there would be some kind of attraction, but he's just not seeing it for her. And he really tells Paige, and you can definitely see that really hurt Paige's feelings. And this is my thing. What were the producers thinking when they matched Chris and Paige together? Obviously, you can tell that Paige is really here to find love, and Chris is just here to have a good time. And it's really, really sad that the, the producers actually paired these two together because I feel that Chris is just not here for finding love or finding a wife. He's just here to just get exposure. Um, and you can definitely see because during the family meeting, he's like completely oblivious when it came to, you know, concerns that Paige had when, um, as far as, you know, him, and he's just super oblivious about that, and I'm just really confused as far as, like, what were the producers thinking, so someone actually revealed to me on our comment that Chris was actually married, well, not married, but he was, like, engaged, and he might have a baby on the way, and it all makes sense now, because that is what was you know, like, he got a phone call during, like, next episode, guys. I'm, like, foreshadowing. But next episode, Chris got a phone call, and he says he was telling Paige that, you know, there's something they need to talk about. And I feel that the producers are going to reveal to Chris that he has a baby on the way. And that's probably what he's going to tell Paige. I think that Chris was definitely not here to find love. I feel like Chris has, he's engaged. He has a baby coming up. Um, but he has a baby on the way. I think they're going to reveal that, um, next episode and us viewers, we are going to be previewed to that. I don't know what the producers were thinking when it came to Chris and Paige. It was complete. It was a complete hot mess. So we also get on this episode that, okay, so the producers meet up. Why am I saying the producers? Okay. So the couples meet up with each other's family they are having brunch, kind of get to know the family, asking questions. So Paige kind of tells Chris's family that his mom, I think his aunt, his dad, her concerns with Chris and what Chris told her and all this kind of stuff. And at first, I kind of found it a little rude because it was kind of they were laughing at Paige and they didn't really take what she was saying seriously. But I think that they already started, they started taking like, you know, they were not happy with what, what Chris was doing. So they were not too, too happy with him. So I definitely think that the mom um, and the dad, they were like, you know, they're going to talk to Chris about it. And they were saying they're proud of Chris because they raised the honest man. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And to think that Chris was a pastor guys like I don't I'm just like what is going on like I feel that Chris was a is like a producer he must be some kind like a fake um castmate or something like this is he must be some kind of producer's favorite or producer's like a producer's puppet because this cannot be real and I know that I'm not going like scene by scene because this was a two hour episode guys two hour episode so I'm just talking about what was like the most important thing that has happened or happened on this on this episode so yeah and we also were okay so Paige um of course tells Chris's parents like what's going on and you know they're all in full support of Chris they don't I mean in full support of Paige they don't like what Chris said they don't like what Chris did so then they're gonna talk to Chris and see what's going on so they end up talking to Chris it wasn't much going on they just pretty much told Chris like hey Paige told us what happened and you know she told us that 
you felt like you were not attracted to her, even though that, you know, you guys were intimate on the first day. And Chris was just like, I don't know why Paige will talk about this kind of situation with my parents. And we are married as my wife. I feel like it's very disrespectful that um, Paige is talking to this, like, you know, telling everybody this information. And we are husbands and wives. And, you know, pretty much telling everyone our business. And he te- he also relays that back to Paige, how he felt disrespected. And he's just saying that where I'm from, you know, I'm from Chicago. That's not a part of my culture. I believe that you know, whatever happens in a marriage should be between the two people who are married. And Paige was just like, hmm, it seems like you have a problem with a lot of things. And I'm just like, yes, Paige, finally, Paige, Paige, finally. She said something that I totally agreed with. But then again, we also get Paige backtracking as far as you know her I don't know I'm so confused with Paige this um season I'm just like Paige do you not see what is going on like why do you I just feel like Chris is definitely gaslighting Paige a lot especially on this episode and I'm just not here for it I definitely don't think that Chris and Paige are going to work out i do not think they're going to work out whatsoever. Um, yeah, it's so weird. I'm just like, what were the producers thinking? Okay, so moving on, we get to the rest of the um, par- parents and family members. We also get to, Bri- okay, so we meet Brianna. Um, so Vincent meets Brianna's mom. So we figured out Brianna's mom is super overprotective of Brianna. She's pretty concerned with Vincent as far as, you know, he's an entrepreneur. She seems very, like, very blue-collar, kind of like, you know, like, she doesn't really see the whole entrepreneur lifestyle that you can just see that she's just not here for Vincent's kind of entrepreneur, non-linear, like, lifestyle. Because she feels that, okay, we get, Brianna is a, um, you know, she definitely has a secured career as an engineer. So she's kind of a little bit iffy about, like, you know, Vincent quitting his job and choosing the entrepreneur lifestyle. So she's a little iffy about that, but she's not, like, too, too iffy. Overall, we get that Brianna is very, you know, Um, She's going to speak her mind. She's very loving. She's very caring. If she's here for you, she is going to be here for you. And I definitely see that Brianna and Vincent are going to be a really good couple. I'm not even too worried about them. But I would say I'm a little bit worried when it comes to Vincent. So we also, Brianna also, you know, speaks with Vincent's aunt. And I think it was maybe his cousins or so. So she learns that Vincent, when he gets upset, that Vincent gets upset so there may be a little bit temperament when it comes to Vincent um so that's something they reveal to Brianna maybe something that she you know help him help him out with as a wife work on it with him as a wife so I'm that's like I'm not even really con- too concerned about Vincent and Brianna I feel like they're gonna stay married I feel like they are like the expert did an amazing job when they paired these two together. They, like, I think the experts did their job. Okay, so moving on, we get Virginia. So Virginia meets um, Eric's parents or Eric's mom and his sister. Well, Eric's mom, niece, and a family member. So their biggest concern with Virginia, Virginia feels like she's not ready for like kids yet. And Eric is like really ready. He's very hands on with his nieces and his nephews. And Eric's mom really wants a grandchild, but Virginia is not like ready yet. And I feel like their biggest concern with Virginia is she still may be slightly a little like she may not just be ready for the whole like family wife kind of duties. So I think they're maybe a little bit concerned about that. 
Um, okay, so Eric meets up with Virginia's dad and Virginia's stepmom, and Eric reveals that, you know, he's really going to be very protective of Virginia, and we also get um, a sense that Virginia's dad may be a little bit strict, you know, and Eric also reveals to Virginia and Virginia's parents that he was once married, it was like a non-traditional marriage, it was pretty much for the benefits of like army benefits or so. So it was not like a real marriage. Virginia's dad said he's not too, too concerned since it was like three years ago. So he's not too concerned about that. So yeah, that's about it with Eric and Virginia. Then we also get Jacob and Haley. And guys, I am so like, Jacob really needs to loosen up. I like he literally talks about the same things the 80s him eating um uh steak and eggs every day like that's like the meal the only meal that he eats like he told he mentioned that to Haley's mom during the wedding and now during their little brunch I'm just like Jacob please loosen up like that's why I really don't feel that Haley and Jacob will be together because he really just needs to loosen up. And Haley just seems like she's super outgoing and Jacob is so close knit. But I don't know. They may surprise us. Like, we don't know. Like, it's anything can happen at this point. So then we also get, you know, Haley meets up with Jacob's parents and they're pretty much saying the same thing about Jacob. He has a routine. He is, he's like very close knit. And we get a sense of that. And I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but let's just keep on watching. Okay, so then we get Claire meets up with Ryan's parents. So I thought that Ryan's dad was white, but apparently he's actually not. He's like, okay, he he looks white far away, but he's actually like mixed. I thought that he was just like a, a white man, but he's actually mixed, like super light skin. He's just, I think he just, he's... He's probably just mixed because he's like Creole. So I didn't know. Like, I thought that Ryan was just like mixed, you know, half white, half black. But, okay, he has two, um, you know, a mix, probably a mixed dad and a black mom. So I was kind of confused about that. But actually, no, I wasn't confused. But during the one, like the, during the wedding, it looked like he was white, but he's just mixed. Okay, so. We learn that Ryan's parents are into ministry and Claire is just not into like religion like that. And Ryan's parents are really big in that. And that's like what they instilled in Ryan. We also learned that Ryan pretty much comes from a religious household. And I think that's going to be the biggest thing with Claire and Ryan because Ryan really looks like he is very stern. He seems like he's very, although he takes the back seat, but when it comes to his religion, yeah. I mean, that's like, that's something that, you know, he's not going to be like, he's not going to play with, you know? So, yeah. So we also, okay, so Ryan meets, Ryan meets up with Claire's parents and, you know, they pretty much reveal to Ryan that Claire does not, you know, although they, you know, have arguments, they have never, ever, ever argued in front of Claire. And that's really, really like, you know, like good. So it's pretty much shows that they have a very healthy communication. And Ryan and Claire, when they were discussing this, they realized that that's something that they need to work on is their communication. You know, that's something that they have to work on. And I feel like all of the couples so far, I think that, you know, communication is key. So we also learned the couples are going to Vegas for their honeymoon. Of course, they can't go like out of the country because of COVID and stuff. So they're going to Las Vegas. Everyone seems excited. So far, everyone has gone to Vegas except for Virginia, which I was a little surprised with, uh, surprised because I was like, okay, Virginia, I would think she had, she has gone to Vegas. So, um, two things that were really funny. So Jacob is packing, he's packing all like graphic tees and Claire, I mean, 
Haley was just like, okay, I see that Jacob likes graphic tees, honestly. And he's like also packing like all 80s kind of like stuff. Um, he's packing a, um, what is it called? Like the, a fanny pack. And I, and I would just be so, I would be so embarrassed, honestly, like, wow. Okay, so then we also get Chris saying something like, you know, what happens in Vegas? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So the couples also meet in Vegas. You know, Chris is saying, okay, I can see why they've matched Vincent and Brianna. They just seem like their personality seems super compatible with each other. Paige and Chris are kind of getting along, um, they're like, you know, in Vegas and so far they're getting along, but you know, we know some things are brewing up. So everyone seems to have a good time. Um, so, so, okay. So we also get a revelation that Eric may, is a little starting to be weary about Virginia's drinking style because as soon as they got, okay, as soon as they got to the room, Virginia was already, she's like, just found the bar or, you know, she's already picked up the next champagne. So Eric is, you know, he's going to talk to Virginia about like, you know, maybe her drinking and stuff. So that's going to be revealed more on the next episode. So we're going to get a little glimpse of that. So mm, we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, this was a two hour episode. And so far, like, this, these are the main things that's happened that's really, really important. I thought that was important and that was highlighted the most. Um, my opinion still stands when it comes to most of the couples. Some of the couples has changed. I don't know what the producers were thinking when they came to Paige and Chris. Like, it was just a hot mess. So, I'm just like, I'm so confused. Um, we may... Um, they may be revealing that Chris may have a baby on the way, and he also might have been, you know, um, well, he was engaged, of course, he mentioned that, and I think someone also revealed to us, like, in our, ch um, chat that Chris does have a baby on the way, and they're gonna mention that on the show as well, too. So, that is about it for, um, Married at First Sight. Thank you guys so much. Let us know what you think so far about the episode. Peace, love, and blessings.